Magnesium sulfate is a mineral that reduces seizure risks in women with preeclampsia. It is used for the prevention and treatment of seizures in women with severe preeclampsia or eclampsia. It is given intravenously. Magnesium sulfate may help some women with preeclampsia. However, magnesium toxicity, or overdosing, is a possibility. Too much magnesium can be fatal to both the mother and the unborn baby. We'll look at the serum magnesium levels and associated effects. The normal serum magnesium level is 1.8 to 2.2 milligrams per deciliter. A healthy body maintains magnesium within this range. When magnesium is administered to reduces seizure risks in women with preeclampsia, the serum magnesium level rises to the range between 5 to 8 mg per deciliter. This level is therapeutic and it is used for anticonvulsant prophylaxis. Electrocardiographic changes is one of the first signs of magnesium sulfate toxicity. This happens when the serum magnesium level rises to the range between 5 to 10 mg per deciliter. Loss of deep tendon reflexes is the sign of magnesium toxicity. And this occurs when the serum magnesium level rises to the range between 8 to 12 mg per deciliter. Somnolence is the other sign and slurred speech will occur when the the serum magnesium level rises to the range between 10 to 12 mg per deciliter. Muscular paralysis usually happens when the serum magnesium level rises to the range between 15 to 17 mg per deciliter. Similarly, respiratory paralysis will also occur within the range of 15 to 17 mg per deciliter. And lastly, cardiac arrest will occur if the levels of magnesium rises to higher levels to the range between 20 to 35 mg per deciliter. It is very important to note that calcium gluconate is the antidote used to treat the cardiac and respiratory adverse effects which may result from magnesium toxicity. And that's all about magnesium sulfate toxicity when used for treatment of seizures and severe preeclampsia or eclampsia. Thank you for watching.